What's up guys, this is Pro Warriors. In today's video, we are gonna show you how to set up Yuzu Nintendo Switch emulator on your PC or laptop. If you are one of these people who want to enjoy Nintendo Switch games on your computer, this is the right location for you. Better to be mentioned, we already made couples of video on how to play Nintendo Switch games on Android phone. Check description for the video link. This video is dedicated for Windows and Linux users. Let's turn our computer into a Nintendo switch console please like and subscribe to our channel and don't forget to hit the bell button The Nintendo Switch is one of the latest addition to the console lovers. It brings great handheld resolution and allows us to many most recent as well as classic games. But Nintendo Switch is not available worldwide and the console and games are expensive. So most of users can't afford it. The good news is that now there are few emulators available that can run Nintendo Switch games on computer. Yuzu is one of them. Yuzu is a free Nintendo Switch emulator that can run any NS games on your PC or laptop. This emulator is perfectly running thousands of games, 8K resolution and 60 FPS. Let's get started. At first, we will download and install Yuzu emulator, open a browser on your computer, then type on the URL bar yuzu-emu.org. I have given the link in the description, just go through the link. Now we are in the Yuzu official site, click on download now button. Here you can see Yuzu emulator is available to download for Windows, Linux and Android. Bad luck for Mac users, I hope in future they will add it. Yuzu requires the latest version of Microsoft Visuals C++. If you are not sure your PC already has this, then go ahead and download Microsoft Visuals C++ and install it. So let's download the emulator according to our operating system. So I'm just going to click on download for Windows 64 button here and it will immediately start downloading the exe file. You can see the size of the file is just 10 megabytes. Once the download finishes, open up the Yuzu installer. Now we have the option to install Yuzu Early Access or you can install the standard version of Yuzu. If you decide to go with the Yuzu Early Access, it will cost you $5 per month. We are just going to try the stable version because it's free. Click on install button and it will start installing Yuzu emulator on your computer. As I said before, it's a small software so it will completely fade soon. Before we launch the Yuzu emulator, we need three elements that are needed to run Yuzu. I have already managed these elements. You can see we need product keys, Yuzu firmware and NSP ROMs or games. I will give you hints from where I got this files. Let's go ahead and open the Yuzu emulator. Now when you first launch the Yuzu emulator, it will say encryption keys are missing. Don't worry about this because we are going to install our keys later on. So our first step is to install product keys because without this Yuzu won't let us play any games. Open file option which is at the top left corner then open up Yuzu folder. From here open the keys folder and here you have to paste the product keys. As I said before I have already downloaded my product keys. If you don't know how to get this you might be wondering from where I get this keys. You can easily download them from Google just open the browser and type on the search bar Yuzu product keys or production keys. There are lots of sites where you can find product keys for Yuzu emulator. If the file is in GIF format, at first unzip or extract it, then copy the product keys and paste it into the keys folder of Yuzu emulator. Now we are going to install firmware. This file is also something we need to arrange by yourself. To install firmware, again go to the file and open Yuzu folder then open the NAND folder and then open system folder. Open the contents at the last registered folder. Here we have to paste the firmware. Now you might be wondering why did I get this firmware for Yuzu. To download firmware for Yuzu, we have to do the same thing as we did for product keys. Just search on Google. If you can 
find the firmware or product keys you can join our discord server and i will definitely like to help you after downloading the firmware we have to extract the file then open the extracted folder and mark everything by clicking ctrl plus a key together on the keyboard or you can drag or copy all the files and paste it into the emulator folder it's time to load a game to load your games on yuzu double click on the add new folder and it will open your file manager just go to your file where you have stored nintendo switch games now many of us will be afraid which games we should download from where we will get nsp games i have given the compatibility game list of yuzu that games are playable on yuzu emulator you just need to download the nsp file of that games make sure you have unzip the games and stored in a folder after that click on sub button your games should be displayed in the game library here is almost ready to launch a game but there are couple of things we still need to configure go to emulation at the top bar then go down to the configuration the very first thing we are going to do is go into the general settings where you will see hotkeys if you want to know your options for your keyboard hotkeys then go ahead and take a look other options are not important here so switch to system here you can set region language time zone etc you can set ram up to 8 gb but i recommend to use the 4 gb one more important option you need to disable limit speed percentage to use the maximum resources cpu always set to auto to avoid unwanted errors let's jump to the graphics option i find that falcon is the best api on an nvidia and amd graphics card there is opengl also you can use if you would like to change the screen ratio there is an option for spec ratio you can also increase or decrease the resolution up to 8k but i suggest using the native resolution of your monitor to avoid crashes and bugs let's go over the advanced settings accuracy level indicates the graphics quality if you start playing any games it seems that your games are suffering you should come back to advanced graphics settings and turn your accuracy level from the high to normal let's Let's go down to the control you can see player one two three these are actually for different controller setting the default control method is set to keyboard if you want to change the keys just put your desired keys in the controls but i find the default keys to be perfect if you have a controller you can also use it by using the input device option here make sure that control mode is in docked mode when you are done with that go ahead and click on on sub button now back to the input screen let's launch the game and play it just double click on games you can see batman trilogy is now running on yuzu if you take a look here it's running at full speed which is amazing with decent frame rates yuzu is still under development if you are running an older pc you might have some issues yuzu has a long way to go and in future this emulator can run most recent and high quality games Games. that's it guys if you think this video is useful please like and subscribe to our channel don't forget to join our discord server take care